Hello there everyone, how are you? Hope you've been well. Um, it's been a while, I'm back. New channel name, new video, similar-ish topic though. Um, I want to look today at legends, specifically in stacked column charts. I want to show you a couple of problems and then I'm going to show you a solution. It's not going to be any deep dive into Vega Lite. I promise you, you can get the code on my GitHub, which I'm going to start using because you always all ask for it and I'm too lazy to do it, but I'm going to start doing it. I promise. Hold me to that. Right. What's my problem? So the top visual, first of all, is a Power BI core visual. Nothing fancy about it. Just a standard core visual. And I'm going to look at what happens when I use the legend. So I'm going to click on the first category, which is goalkeeper. And you're going to notice a couple of things. So the bottom two visuals, by the way, are Deneb. So what happens when I click on the category, obviously, as it should, it filters other two visuals. Great. And of course, it highlights the category within its own visual. Standard. That's what you expect, right? Next thing I'm going to do, I want to click on the next category. Same thing. Now I'm going to show you what the problem is here. And the problem is it doesn't align that category to zero on the Y axis which means it's kind of hard to show which is the highest, which is lowest. It should always align to the zero on the Y axis for this sort of thing, because it just helps look at the data. Next click, new problem. Click on midfield. Now in this visual, tell me which category I've clicked on. So problem is when you're using the Power BI core visual and you click on the category, the way it highlights it, sometimes makes it very unclear. And in these colors, it actually makes it absolutely impossible to see what you've clicked on. That's not great. Not helpful at all. Useless, right? I just can't see what I've clicked on. But let's go to the next category. And it's the same issue. Now, I can, I can see the value. That's great. Um, but again, not aligned to zero on the y-axis, which makes it really hard to see which is the highest and which is the lowest. Yeah? So let's move on to the Deneb visual. So the Deneb visual also has issues with the legend. And I'm going to click on it and you'll see what it is straight away. So I've clicked on the legend and what has not happened, it hasn't highlighted or filtered, I say, the other visuals. That's very irritating because it should do that. It is set up to do it. If you look, you can see here and here it should be filtering them but it, it just doesn't, the legend doesn't work that way. Um, Vega Light Deneb, frustrating. Also, same issue. So even though I can control how it looks a bit better, um, it's really easy to see the category regardless of color because I've just made the other categories invisible. Um, it's still not aligned to zero on the Y axis, which makes it harder to see which is the highest, which is the lowest. You see what I'm saying? So. I would say that has more issues to an extent, or maybe just the same number of problems um, that the, the core visual does. So different problems, but makes it harder to use. So the next visual is my solution to those combination of problems. So as you can see on the bottom visual, here on the left hand side, I have my legend. I'm going to click on it and then I'll explain. So I'm clicking on it. First of all, it does highlight sorry it does filter the other visuals which is great that's exactly what i wanted to do and it should do that it's frustrating that the out of the box experience or whatever with vega light it doesn't work that way but now you can see it's worked but also you probably see that it hasn't done what the other visuals do and even here i kind of forgot to mention with the other two the deneb and the core visual that when it does when it does highlight it makes it so small, even on the Y axis, that you can't really see what's the highest and lowest. It's, it's difficult to, to show. So when I click here, it's actually bringing the bar and making it like that's the only value in that visual. Yeah, so it's not this tiny bar across the bottom. It is the bar and it looks great and it's really, really easy to see what my highest and lowest is. It just looks like a normal bar chart at this point. Same with every category you click on. It's still gonna filter 
but my other visuals as it should, but it now behaves when I activate the legend like a standard bar shot. And I really like that functionality. It makes it much easier to use and um, yeah, happy with it. So how did I make the legend do that? Well, the interesting thing is, interesting for you know, me, hopefully you as well, is that I didn't actually use a legend at all. If I scroll down quickly, I can show you that I said here, my legend is switched off when I said legend no. But at the top, what you can see is that what I've done is I've done a V concat. So I'll stop at this point to say, if you've never really worked with Deneb and Vega Light before, you gotta start a bit earlier on. This is not a deep dive into the code, but you do have to know one or two things about, you know, how it works, yeah? So I've taken a V concat, which I've covered in previous videos, and I've simply said, I want a mark, which is a circle, and that, that mark circle is what my legend is. It's not really a legend at all, it's just acting like a legend. But because it's a mark, you can still change it to whatever you want it to be. So now I've got a square, you can change the size, so whatever, I'm just gonna do random stuff to show you that you can change the size, little bits and pieces and stuff. If you want it to be wider, you can say, okay, width 600, so now it sits really far across, and you can do loads of crazy stuff with it. So it's a legend which is more flexible, and also has much better functionality than a standard legend. So that's what I'd recommend. Don't actually use the legend, create your own legend by using vconcat. Yeah, nice and straightforward. The next thing that I've done is also actually really easy once I've worked out how to do it. Um, and the next thing was to ensure that it's always on the Y axis on zero. And it's just this tiny bit of code here, this transform and filter. So if I remove this, get it rid of my code and I click on it, now the behavior has changed. Obviously the text values aren't working well because of it impacts the text as well. And um, so you have to put that code in the bar and the text, but you can see that now I've removed that code and it's cr created the behavior that I wanted to avoid. So put that code back in and now I have that functionality that I personally really enjoy. And that's it. So you can see the code is right there. It's basically saying it's filtering a field when it's not, when it's not equal to off. Very nice and straightforward. Um, yeah, so as I say, I don't wanna go into the code too much. And I think if you have already some basic knowledge of Vega Lite, that should be nice and easy for you. Even still, go up my GitHub, check out the code there. You can play around with it, change it, have fun with it, do what you want. Let me know what you think of this idea in the comments of the video. And um, that's what the comments are there for. Either, great idea, I like it, or terrible idea, I hate it, I would do something different. Like, subscribe, all those, you know, YouTube type things. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be back soon with a uh, new video. Take care. Goodbye.